everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today I'm very excited to have these little guys. So fell in love with this series with the uh, volume one or series one. This is series two, as you can see, and uh, I'm very excited. Um, but I have some reservation about the choice of characters, but you know, that's just me. Uh, but yesterday I was on a hunt for Cosmos. I didn't find him. I did find every other uh, deluxe figure in uh, that eight box and or box of eight and uh, Cosmos wasn't there. Uh, I didn't see Scourge, I didn't see uh, Howler, which I already have anyway, and I didn't see uh, the white one, the, the other uh, Voyager. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, I came uh, back empty handed of uh, actual uh, Velocitrons, but I found this kit from Jada Toys. It's a uh, great set, looks great with your uh, combiners. So maybe I'll take out Omega Supreme and put him again in base mode uh, for this video. Uh, who knows, anything can happen. So I'm going to take them out of the box and compare them with the Series 1. Uh, see what they change, because there's a couple uh, repaint or there's remolds of other characters too. So we'll take a look. Before we do so, check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel. And stick to the end of the video if you want to get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers at my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. Now on with this uh, quick review. Here's the box, which we're going to open. There we go. And there's something different this time. So we'll see if it's worth it. All right, because if you look at the back of the box, you can actually cut out these things and make little bases. I'm not going to do that, but I don't know. I don't think that the series one had it and I didn't keep my box. Well, I said I won't do it, but uh, if I'm going to throw away the box, I might as well do that. Eh, okay. Well, we'll, uh, we'll do it. We'll, we'll, uh, I'll show you the diorama if you can call it that. All right. So it's a little big and oh, there you go. So here are the figures, I'll move the plastic. Oh, they have extra support in the middle. That's a smart idea. Take that out. And uh, I'm gonna do the off-camera thing. Well, these guys were held together pretty good with uh, that uh, plastic packaging. Yeah, I really thought it was gonna be just, uh, you know, flip it over and they all fall down, but no, they're wedged in pretty good. So let's go with uh, the uh, version two. I have the um, version one, the series one, sorry in the back because I want to do some comparison. Let's start with uh, Optimus. Uh, I want to compare him with the original mold with the the, 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 the Iron Blaster. Uh, not the same red. Uh, this one only has one logo. This one has two. Uh, he has the axe, different pose, but it's not the same red. The other one was shinier, the original. So I think I like the original better. And speaking of original, Here's we have a repaint of Nemesis Prime, and he looks really good. I'm a sucker for the Nemesis Prime deco. I'm still looking for Scourge. And this one only has one uh, logo, rather than the two from Optimus. So I guess they figured out that uh, Optimus Prime only had uh, the one logo usually. So good on uh, Jada. So let's put this guy back here. Here. Now how about uh, we do this guy. This is the, okay, it says exclusive clip jumper, but he's in every box. And so is a spin out. So I don't know what's the exclusivity here. And then if you take Bumblebee, it's a straight repaint. So they, you know, that it's the same head sculpt, just a different color. So this isn't, uh, look at the feet. Those are Bumblebee feet. So this isn't uh, Cliff Jumper. This is Red Bumblebee, or I think they call them Bumper. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I had Red Bumblebee as a kid. And uh, yeah, so 
Um, I'm not going to call this one cliff jumper. To me, that's bumper. And then same thing with the new Bumblebee. He's a straight repaint of cliff jumper. Same head sculpt. So this isn't uh, Bumblebee. This is Hubcap. And he looks good. I mean, that's a good representation of Hubcap. Maybe I'm getting the name wrong. Uh, because I'm not that versed on non-cartoon characters. Uh, spin out here, who's a, also an exclusive, who's a straight uh, repaint of Sunstreaker, uh, who's right here. So, same mold, straight repaint, less details, you know, Sunstreaker had the yellow lines, uh, spin out doesn't. Uh, bigger Autobot logo on spin out, same face. Oh, different color of intake. So there you go. So that's for spin out new mold, new character, which is Clap Trap. Let me take a look at the box. Battle Trap. I have no idea who this guy is. Um, looks okay, looks good. Uh, the eyes are painted terribly, but uh, for those who know the character, maybe it does look like it uh, pretty well. So I don't know. But uh, new mold, so that's always fun. Then you have Mirage, new mold, new character. I know new Tubby is going to be happy about that. That's a something that should have been included in the series one, instead of Hot Rod or Rodimus Prime or you know. I, I don't know what's the thing with uh, any release of it by any toy company. Like why can't they go by season? Let's do you know if you're going to do something like that, like, let's do a season one Autobots and then season one Decepticons and. Season two, you know, instead of mixing different things. Like, I don't know what's the continuity here. Is it Kingdom? Because if it's Kingdom, we didn't see these two guys in Kingdom. Not that I recall. I don't remember a yellow or a green seeker. Um, but everything else, Sun Blaster was in Kingdom. Um, I don't recall seeing Spin Out or Battle Trap uh, in Kingdom. So, or, you know, the War for Cybertron uh, show. So it's not G1 because there wasn't a Nemesis Prime. There wasn't, uh, well, I guess in the Japanese continuity there was a Sound Blaster. So. But anyway, it's just uh, I wish they would just do one continuity, you know, just by series. That would be my my thing. But anyway, uh, new mold you have Cheetor, all golden, looks really good. Face sculpt is actually uh, pretty nice, and uh, the painted details are better than most. So I think they went all out for the. Uh, you have the legs in the back. I think they could have, you know, gone without that, but whatever. He looks really good. The blue on uh, gold. He looks good. I don't have a Cheetor yet. I'm waiting for, I'm hoping that they're going to do a Transmetal 2. And that's the version I'll get. Optimus Primal. Looks good as well. Uh, looks to be a different uh, head sculpt because you can see that they tried to do a mount. So that's... You know, attention to details. I love the paint on this one. It's really good. The back of every figure is kind of just plain, but looks really fun. Rhinox, not holding any guns and he's doing the pooping stance. So it looks, uh, it looks big. The face sculpt is lacking. Like you see a nose, but you barely see paint for the eyes. Uh, not that much details, but uh, huge out for the rhino mode so uh, and then the, you have the skirt all around so and then the rhino head so really good I like him and then my goddess I love air racer most underused character of the Beast Wars uh, saga uh, I don't really like the face sculpt here it's you know they could have do a little better but you can tell who it is I like the wings uh, I like the paint looks really good it just the face is a little uh, little off for me. So, uh, who else? Uh, did, oh, okay, Wheeljack. That's I don't get it. This is Series One Wheeljack. This is Series Two Wheeljack. What's different? I'm trying to look. Is it a different paint? No. Is it, maybe it's a uh, lighter gray instead of the dark gray? Yeah, lighter gray. The eyes, the it's the same, it's the same pose. So that's not even a remold or a repaint, it's just they had extra wheel jacks. So 
this, I don't know, they could have given us a trail breaker. That would have been, uh, you know, a little more fun. Uh, brawn, wind charger, anything that we didn't get in series one. So that just, anyway, my take. Uh, so already the sound blaster, a repaint of sound wave. So same face call, same pose, just a straight repaint. Uh, but it looks good. I don't own it. Whoa. All right. Knockout. Um, hold on. All right. Let's move him here. We have Beast War Megatron. Looks really good. And it's the only Beast War this, uh, Predacon that we have. Um, we got four Maximals, one Predacon, unless I'm crazy. So again, what's the theme here? Is it Kingdom? Is it G1? Is it Beast Wars? Uh, who knows? Random stuff. But he looks really good. The Dino Head, uh, closed mouth. Uh, could have been fun to have a open mouth pose, but uh, the chest is really good. The face sculpt is, uh, it's decent enough. And the paint is good too. And one color in the back. And then you have Scorponok, completely out of scale, but he looks really good. I mean, the, 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 the paint, the mold, the face sculpt, the details. I like the big clamp here. It's really good so completely original so I like that and then you have okay gap seekers repaint which you know what makes sense it's a mold that's been used thousands of times so you have Nova storm of the rainmakers which is a repaint of starscream and thundercracker and then you have acid storm of the rainmakers and then you have Red Wing, not of the Rainmakers. Why would you give us Red Wing instead of Iron Storm? Do the complete set. That would have made more sense. But he's a Skywarp re uh, repaint. He looks good. I mean, this is a good Red Wing, but it just doesn't fit with the other two. So that's just me, my OCD kicking in. I don't know. I have issues, that's for sure. So there you go, guys. These are the, um, oh, wait, the diorama. Okay, I'll be back. Yeah, the dioramas aren't for me. I mean, it's just, I guess it's for kids. You know, you just cut, if you cut very precisely and then you bend exactly on the little dotted line, like there's no pre-band, pre-cut, pre-anything. So um, I guess that's something. Uh, Bumblebee here on the uh, Teletran one. I mean, the paint is good, or the, the drawing is good. Uh, I guess I didn't have proper scissors to do this. Uh, Decepticon base, I don't know. Not for me. All right, so I'm going to uh, wrap this up uh, with uh, my final thoughts. So what do I think of the Jada Toys uh, Series 2? Uh, I love the, the concept and the figures. I absolutely do. I don't think that this one was necessary. I don't think that this one was necessary. Uh, I mean, it's they want to reuse a mold, okay, uh, but it's 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 not a you know very popular uh, character as as far as I know. Uh, this one you might be maybe it's a comic guy, maybe I, I have no idea who Battle Trap is, but that's on me. I would have preferred Iron Storm instead of Red Wings, maybe more Predacons, uh, and. Uh, uh, the uh, this is a good mold i like him but do we really need a new another optimus for this line i don't know clip jumper and bumblebee or actually uh you know bumper and uh, hubcap they look good that's the main thing i mean everything looks good uh i just don't get why we get a new wheel jack i mean anything else would have been uh you know give us a new predacon you know a pterosaur or tarantulas anything but that's just uh, that's just my take overall i'm very satisfied with this purchase I uh, found it in uh, in Canada, um, and today we're, what, the 31st, so I found it on the 30th, so it's out there, uh, go get it, and I hope you will enjoy them. So thanks for watching, guys, I hope you liked this video, if you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!